Five Scientific Facts in the Quran 1. The Quran explains water and life. Our Creator's words in the Quran are in Surah Al-Anbiya, 2130. We made every living thing from water. Will they not believe? This verse proves that most of the parts of every living organism consist of water. We also know that life without water is impossible. The above ayat of the Quran has explained before the discovery of microscopes that prove that water is the essential component in the body of living organisms. 2. The Quran explains the Big Bang Theory. This theory is the origin of the universe mentioned in the Quran. Before any discoveries, it was thought that this universe had no creator. Albert Einstein, during his period, proposed that this universe is growing like a balloon and has expanding forces such as galaxies moving away from each other. The mathematician and Belgian priest also support this proposal. The Holy Book of Allah Almighty already explained the Big Bang Theory in detail before its uncovering. Allah SWT states in the Quran, 2130, have those who disbelieved not consider that the heavens and earth were a joined entity, and we separate them. The astronomer in America explains the Hubble Law, which states that there is a speed through which all entities move away from earth. This speed is directly proportional to the distance of the object from the ground. The greater distance means more incredible speed of moving objects. So the above verse of the Quran already explains the phenomena of the Big Bang Theory, which states that this universe came into existence from a single dense point. 3. The Quran. Explain the Big Crunch Theory. This theory explains how the universe will end. It is another scientific thing in the Quran details. The general theory of relativity discusses how the universe will be slowly destroyed. The starting point is the Big Bang Theory. It is the imaginary scenario that everything will end up from where it started. The same rule is valid for the universe. In Surah Al-Anbiya 21, 104, the day when we will fold the heaven like the folding of sheets for the records. As we began the first creation, we will repeat it, a promise binding upon us. Indeed, we will do it. This verse of the Quran clearly explains the big crunch theory, which states that the universe again came back in the form of a tiny mass. So the Quran has already described this fact very beautifully. 4. The Quran explains embryology. Embryo development is explained in the branch of biology known as embryology. This is another scientific fact that is mentioned in the Holy Book of Allah Almighty. As Allah says in Surah Al-Muminun, 23.12.14, We created man from an extract of clay. Then we made him as a drop in a place of settlement, firmly fixed. Then we made the drop into an alaka. Then we made the alaka into a muga. The same thing is explained through technology in the development of embryos. The word alaka is the clot of blood, and muga means chewed substance. 5. The Quran explained the oceanic division. The term conflux is the joining point of two seas. When they meet, the water maintains its individual unique properties such as temperature density, color salin iti. This is where you can see the water of two different seas running side by side. Quran also explains this phenomenon in its verse of Surah Rayman. 55, 19, 20. He released the two seas meeting between them is a barrier so neither of them transgresses. 